that the pirates? Are they already here? Captain, we're under attack. Stations, men. Hold firm. <laughs> Aw, dang. That's the brigands. Oh, all that armor didn't do you any good, did it? <laughs> Captain Grace, that's a new character. Under attack? No, friends, you've already lost. <gasps> How did she... Game around your flank. You were all looking at the cannons of my ship, weren't you? On your knees. Be on your knees and relinquish your cargo, and nobody has to lose a limb. Never! Cease at once. Don't you know who this ship belongs to? Hmm. Well, the Danish emblem on the sails gives me a wee inkling. He won't let you take her over so easily. Will you, Hamlet? Guildenstern. Uh, Guildenstern. Well, well. Hamlet? You're the most English-sounding Dane I've ever met in all my years. That wouldn't be Prince Hamlet, would it? Yes. I am Prince Hamlet, and on behalf of my people aboard this ship, I order you to stand down at once or risk immediate war with my country. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit confused. Did Claudius arrange the pirates attacking? If so, then what's the letter about? What's in the letter? I thought the letter was the thing that was supposed to kill Hamlet. Regardless, I th think by telling the ladies about the plot for the pirates coming, that stops Hamlet from seeing the letter, which stops the ladies from being killed, but it looks like it's probably going to result in Hamlet being killed. Hmm. <laughs> After three seconds of deliberation, my answer is no. However, I'll happily take you as a hostage for ransom. Hamlet, I... We're outnumbered. There's no sense in anyone losing their life. Go with them. Do what they say. I... No. I can't leave you, Ophelia. <laughs> Sweet on the moor, eh? I won't abandon her. She's here by my sake, and I won't leave her behind. So kill me if you must. I'll not go, nor deliver her into the hands of thieves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're dead, or I'm dead, or we're both dead. Well, that's a trick, huh? Normally I'd have old Finnegan here throw you over his shoulder and be on with it, but... Tell you what. If you won't come to O'Malley's vessel, we'll take over your beaten old ship for ourselves. <gasps> we'll never swear allegiance to some pirate queen, nor serve under you. Yeah! I don't like being loyal to things, pirates included. My ladies. My tender ladies. That's a weird way to say it. My tender ladies. You've no choice in the matter. Starting today, I'm your captain. Captain Grace or Mally. Though you can call me evil salty bitch if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> I and my men will be taking the captain's bunk effective immediately. And what are we to do exactly? We were bound for England. I don't give a horse's ass what you do or where you're bound. So make of that what you will. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be charting a new course. Uh. You shouldn't have done that, Hamlet. Neither should I have slain your father. What's done is done. Okay, so neither of us are dead. This is going to continue. Still no idea what's going to come of it. Learn more about a journey at sea. Learn more about Captain Grace. Journey at sea is still not complete, of course. Pirates. We've been set upon by pirates. Not more than a few hours after we left Danish waters at that. The captain calls herself Grace O'Malley, and though she may be coarse, she doesn't seem cruel. Perhaps she can be reasoned with. Grace O'Malley, Pirate Queen of Connacht. Grace knows the waters in this area like the back of her hand and hastily overtook us when we put out to sea. The fact that she spared our lives speaks to a shred of humanity in her. Rip the captain, though. The lady's consorting with the nobles again. 
Think she relates to them better than us salty old sharks? Dunno. Think she ought've killed him on the spot. She's still blue-blooded in her heart, no matter what she says. She's loyal to her first husband's family. Lady O'Flaherty? <laughs> May Donald rest in peace. If only he could see what she's doing these days. Old Donald would be in for a shock, that's for sure. He loved his sweet, bonny wife. But that wife is gone. The pirate queen took her place. I sense there's still more I can learn if I listen in a bit longer. Grace, Grace is Irish nobility. Are they going to run somewhere else and then talk more? Are they like, shit, Ophelia is listening in. Run! How did this get updated? I ordered some of Grace's men discussing her. Such interesting rumors. There's got to be more to find, certainly, and eavesdropping is my specialty. Besides, we're in the middle of the ocean. What else am I to do? Get back here. I heard some of the other men calling at the Lady of Rockfleet Castle last night. Do you know why? No. What's Rockfleet? She married Sir Richard Burke three years ago today, and divorced him two years ago today. What? Married for only one year? <laughs> well, at least it was legitimate in the law's eye. That's not all. The day she divorced him, she locked herself inside Rockfleet Castle, climbed to the highest window, threw it open, and called out the terms of her divorce. <laughs> the balls of six bulls, that one. I'll bet she kept all his gold, too. Isn't that right? More than half of it, by the time the divorce was complete, if I remember correctly. Ruthless, wonderful, terrifying bitch that she is. I sense there's still more I can learn if I listen in a bit longer. <laughs> they run somewhere else to talk more. It's so weird. Oh my god. So why are we all the way down in Danish waters anyhow? Didn't you hear about her meeting with the queen? Hi. I heard they're bosom friends now. Close as can be. And that she refused to acknowledge her as her queen. There is no Irish queen. Hi to that, friend. So long as we don't attack English ships, we're in the clear for the far future. Any other kind of ship is fine, including Danish. And gold's gold no matter what flag flies over it. Makes sense to me. Grace met the Queen of England? The one who was asked to execute Hamlet? Fascinating. What? What the hell are you doing? Think I don't see us skulking around, eavesdropping, right and left? If you want to know about me so badly, you can come ask me yourself. Captain. About earlier, I was merely curious. Your men speak freely of you when you're not present. <sighs> I'm sure they do, the bastards. Well then, what have you learned? Hmm. That you've lived quite a life. Married twice, and you've met the Queen of England herself. Huh? I may not look like it, but I was a lady like yourself once. Grace or Mally? Daughter of... Aegon and... I don't know how to pronounce these names. Daughter of Aegon and uh, uh, O'Malley, Lady of Bunowin Castle, among others. <laughs> and a fat lot of good it did me after my father died. Men swarmed in on all sides. I took my hand, my home, and my body. In return, they gave me children, cattle, and several hundred headaches. After marrying my second husband, I realized there was nothing men gave me that I couldn't give myself. This is a really interesting storyline that we're following here. I didn't expect it, but this whole boat journey is just... It seems to all be about gender dynamics, pretty much. Power and gender dynamics. And I've been gifting myself nice things ever since. Ships, stalwart crew, castles. You know, the simple things in life. It must be nice having that sort of power. You go wherever you please. So could all women, if they pleased. Uh... No, that kind of freedom is not available to me. What? It's 
A long story. I cannot leave Elsinore. Not at the present moment. But you've already left. Look around, you lass. I don't see your castle nowhere. We have different definitions of the term present. Hmm. You're a strange little woman. I can see why the prince is so taken with you. Soon this ship will meet up with my regular fleet, and we'll sort through what to do with you and where you'd like to go. Until such a time comes to pass, how about I teach you a thing or two about what it means to stand on your own two feet? <sighs> I can stand on my own just fine, thank you. What was that for? Uh, uh, uh. You don't really stand alone, my lady. Your stance is weighted. All wrong. Heavy towards the back. Like you're afraid anyone you're talking to might kill you. Hmm. Well, given the circumstances. So what? You intend to teach me how to fight? <laughs> is a day or two sailing to Ireland? You think I can teach anyone to fight that quickly? Seven hells, no. Best I can do is teach you how to hold a dagger. Let's start there, shall we? Oh, this is very interesting. They're going to teach me how to hold a dagger. What could that do? Would that give me the power to kill people? Or give me the power to try to murder Quince or something? Although I don't see why murdering Quince would be effective. Murdering me isn't effective. Hit me above decks. It's a very interesting storyline. Yep, still more. I accosted Grace in the captain's quarters about all the rumors I'd heard. To my surprise, she just laughed and suggested she teach me how to hold a blade. She's offered to meet me above deck and show me a thing or two. This woman is a whirlwind. Are you up here? Yeah. Hello. What was that? <laughs> Ophelia. I'm already envisioning the grand title of this event. I'm calling it the unmaking of a lady. Now, defending yourself in the heat of battle, that's what we should live for. Although you're a wee mite smaller than most, we might have to settle for teaching you to be annoying rather than dangerous. Oh. You're going to teach me to fight? <gasps> oh no, these blades are for cutting hair and trimming roses. <laughs> yes, I'm going to teach you how to fight. There you go. Just take it and feel the heft of it. It's heavier than I thought such a small blade could be. Aye. They all are. Now spread your stance wide and bend your knees a little. Get low to the ground. <sighs> Not that low. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Hamlet? Give it a go. Not into it. Better. See? You're getting it. And don't forget, the blade goes out. I wagered that much. Always aim for the center of your target. Don't try and get fancy. Easiest place you can put your blade. Take it. Now then. Let's try a drill, shall we? Ophelia! What on earth is this? Ooh. The good captain is teaching me how to hold a blade. A blade? Her men just slaughtered good Danish crewmen. How can you speak to her? Oh, my prince. <laughs> Who asked you to come in on us, golden boy? I killed your crewmen because they were weak and left their flanks undefended. If you were wise, you'd learn from me. Murderer. You're a murderer. There is nothing worth learning from you. Ophelia, I don't understand. Ugh. I grow tired of your idiot antics. The ship's too goddamn small. I can't wait to be rid of you. Ah. Kill or be killed, boy. That's the way of this world. Believe it or succumb to it, I care not. I'll be in my quarters. That's right. My quarters. I'll be waiting. I'll be there all evening if you desire a further parlay, Ophelia. Oh, thank you, Grace.
ship wheel. I'm going to turn this ship around. As usual, Hamlet ruins everything. That's all I have to update for now. Must go find Grace in her room and apologize. How embarrassing. <laughs> this whole thing, this journey at sea, really is a whirlwind. Just up and down and all around. From funny to serious to sad to... Lots of things. If I knew how to steer a ship, I could go anywhere. But as is, I would probably only wind up at the bottom of the ocean. Ophelia's current event is interrupted by a sudden interlude. What? Ophelia? M may I speak to you alone? That's a tall order on a cramped ship. M perhaps the forecastle deck. The what? The forecastle deck, the one near the bow. Hmm. You've scarcely been on a sailing vessel, if ever. How do you know that? Oh. Well, I read for one. Listen. The time has come to discuss our deliverance back to shore. We must rise up against the captain and take her by surprise. Ugh. And then do what exactly? We're utterly surrounded and outnumbered. We have no weapons of any kind. I can't bear a sword. Uncertain about Rosie and Gilda. Oh, but I do know how to use a dagger. Slightly, kinda. Ugh. There are still men loyal to us aboard. And I have a plan besides. Soon the good captain will need to sleep. And at that point, she'll be unarmed. Meanwhile, her lieutenant keeps the night watch. If he can be incapacitated, leaving her with no warning, hmm. then we rush her. But that woman didn't come here alone. Her first ship is fully manned and sails ahead of us. How will we return to Denmark once we've captured the ship? That's just it. We don't have to return to Denmark. We merely run close enough to her shores that Grace's men dare not pursue us any longer. Hmm. Without their leader's signal, they may be slow to react. I hate to admit this, but we might have the merest chance if the wind favors us. I'm glad I have your faith. Now then. This plan of mine, there's a contingency built within it. Ought I to be afraid? Ophelia, if it should come to the worst of this matter, and Rosa, uh, Rosie and Gilda are captured, I have every intent of leaving them to Grace's sword. <gasps> you let them die? <sighs> Something happened. I don't want to discuss it. Not yet. They're loyal to my uncle. He fills their pockets with coin, and they've spied on me in return. Is there any way to dissuade Hamlet from thinking that the ladies are just out to get Hamlet? Cause they ain't. In some ways, I'm merely their source of income. Whatever friendship we once had, it's changed. God damn it, Hamlet. I should have realized they'd only look after themselves and each other. It's always been that way deep down. You and I are the only ones who matter in this horrible, ugly world. And I'd sooner you live than I. Thanks, Hamlet. This is what I mean about Hamlet can sometimes be an insufferable shit. Hamlet. I think your priorities may be misplaced. If keeping me alive is your goal. What? Why wouldn't it be? Uh, never mind it. Let's put this plan to action and see what happens. Ophelia acquires the information mutiny. Mm, so do I have to do the mutiny? It sounds like it. As usual, Hamlet... Wait, no, that's that was already there. Wait, wasn't this updated? I don't know. The music for the boat journey is really good, by the way. Um, is there an event? Don't see one. 
you came after all. Apologies for Hamlet's behavior earlier. Ugh. Why are you apologizing for him? He's the clawed-headed rooster shit, not you. <laughs> clawed. You seem like you've got a good head on your shoulders. Maybe you can lend a hand. I desire to learn more about this vessel I'm now commanding. Where do you normally make port? And where were you headed? And who are those two women traveling with the prince? We came from Elsinore, from the castle's dock. We were headed to London. Not anymore, of course. The two women are Hamlet's friends, Lady Rosencrantz and Lady Guildenstern. Ah. I've heard tell of that castle, and a few legends about the prince's father. A great ruler and a stalwart commander, I've heard. That king is dead. His brother Claudius now rules. And Claudius was the one who killed him. I see. So the prince is being sent away so as not to prove a royal distraction. Yes. Hamlet's health has been off and on as of late. He killed my father by mistake just last night. I... Oh. Ophelia. I wish I knew something kind to say. Was he a good man? Did you love him? I loved him dearly. But I have faith I'll meet him again. If your god is as kind as he looks in the paintings, then surely you will. So, why'd you come with the young Hamlet? Oh, it's complicated. Hamlet's uncle wants him dead. He sent me to ensure Hamlet's sentence was complete upon reaching England. But we're not going to England. But you love him. Or did once. How did you know? <laughs> because I love many a man and woman in my life, and those eyes don't lie. Well, let me guess. Dark foreign women at the Elsinore court. You're not a match for the prince's rank, and his uncle sought to make a more strategic match. Am I right? Something like that, yes. Better off without him, I say. I only ever found use in men for stealing their fortunes. I've never been happier than in the arms of a beautiful woman. In the arms of... Oh. <laughs> Your face is ridiculous right now. Don't give me that look. Now, there's gotta be a bottle or two somewhere around here. Aha! Anyway, fancy drink and a yarn while you're here? Alternatively, you can go down to the bunks and sleep with your idiot companions. No, this is much improved. Brought you all the way to Danish waters. This hardly seems like ordinary fare for you. <sighs> Bad winds as always. We're never meant to come down this far south. Sometimes you don't get a choice. But then we saw your little vessel. An opportunity rang. At the time, I wondered why your ship was poorly guarded. Nary a soldier aboard. Of course, now that you've told me about the king's wanting his nephew dead, it makes sense. We were supposed to be the executioners, I wager. Well, you haven't killed us yet. What will you do with us once we're in Ireland? Hmm. I find myself reconsidering. If you'd asked me before now, I'd have said, I'll probably see what ransom I can get for the lot of you. Or if no one would pay, would have left you at the nearest brothel in Dublin. You'd do that? You'd know what would have happened to us. I have no particular kindness for women, especially. In my position, you've got to be ruthless. The day I get soft is the day some privateer gains on us and takes my head clean off. I steal and exploit everything I possibly can. Figured I can get a pretty few coins for Hamlet alone. Maybe you too, depending on how much your mother cares. With your father dead, I can only assume she's grieving something fierce. My mother died a long time ago. Ah. So you're an orphan like me. Yes. My brother Laertes was... is like a second father to me, though. 
Has your mind changed on the subject of ransom, then? Well, not for the others, but if getting homes in the cards for you, we'll see what I can do when we land in Dublin. There will be no need for that. Oh? It's a long story, and you wouldn't believe me. So let us say only, I will travel on with you wherever you go. Have you sailed all of these waters? Aye. Everything in this area, and things outside this map's boundaries. You mean the New World? <laughs> of course. And a couple things you wouldn't find on any map, save for the truly good ones. What sorts of places do you mean? Well, where should I begin? How about the time we were washed out on a strong current and decided to visit the frozen Snellandia? Truly? I've heard of it, but I thought that wasn't a real place. Of course. Of course it's real. And your people settled it. As I said, it's it all began when we were washed out on a strong current with no wind for days. <gasps> and that's when I realized it wasn't another ship at all. It was a cliff. Barely got out of there with both my hands and my head attached. I can hardly believe this is the kind of life you live. It scarcely seems real. Mm -hmm. You're sharp. You do well in it, too. There's still so much I don't know about the world. Talking to you, I realize I may never get to see it all. Well... Perhaps between now and Dublin, we can find a few new experiences for you. Always more fun to show someone else the things you love when they haven't done them before. Speaking of which... Earlier, you... <laughs> I feel like this has been leading here. <laughs> you look surprised when I said I prefer women. Hmm. I can show you a few things I almost guarantee you haven't done before. My new bunk's decidedly roomy. Danish shipwrights know how to build comfort. Spent the night in Grace's bed. I'm thinking, you know, with all the talk about power dynamics before, I'm thinking about it again, and I'm thinking like, uh, I'm their hostage, technically? But also, it seems like at this point, we've already, they seem to know each other enough that they seem to have come to the conclusion that they like me and they want to try to help me out, so I don't think I'm really their hostage right now. I don't know, it still feels a little weird. Yeah, so it's gay and I love that, but I'm a little bit uncomfortable with this circumstances, so I'm going to say no. I don't think so, Grace. Uh. I thought I detected interest, but my intuition failed me. Well, I'll tell you what. Now then. How about we tell stories instead? I only have three living friends in the entire world, so for tonight, you can be my surrogate. Happily. I could certainly tell you some interesting stories of life at court. I must have fallen asleep. Where is she gone? Ophelia and Captain Grace now believe that Ophelia and Grace are friends. Also learned more about a journey at sea. This is a very long quest. I think this is the longest lead we've ever had, I think. Grace and I spent the evening drinking and talking. She's nothing like I thought she was. And at the end of it, she asked if I wanted to go to bed, although I declined. Nevertheless, it's clear we're kindred souls. I only wish we had more time together. Ooh, rolled up letter. It's a note bearing the seal of the king. Oh, the letter. I've entrusted these orders to two loyal servants, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern, to ensure that to be executed upon arrival. This is a death warrant for Hamlet, written by Claudius. It'll never reach England now. Still, 
I wonder if Rosencrantz and Guildenstern were carrying this letter intentionally. My assumption is deception on all sides. Yeah, I don't think they're carrying it on purpose. Is there anything... Is there any events? No. Can I just talk to you about stuff? Oh, no, only one thing. Mutiny. Ooh, I can tell on Hamlet. Hmm. Hamlet has a plan to wrest control of the ship from the Pirate Queen, but Rosie and Gilda won't survive. Okay, Hamlet said, if they're left behind, or like, if... If we can't save them, then we're just going to leave them behind without even really trying. But from the, this description, it sounds like they definitely won't survive. It's not a question of maybe, it just won't happen. Therefore, hell no, I'm not mutinying. That's a word, right? Mutinying? Can I talk to you all about anything? Ah, the mutiny, right. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, Hamlet, but I'm throwing you under the bus. Turn. Hamlet is going to try to overthrow Grace and escape. He intends for you and Rosencrantz to perish. What? How do you know that? Uh... He told me himself. He asked that I be ready to escape with him. You think he'd let us die? But I... He's our friend. This was all supposed to be a relaxing trip, but all of us might die. How's anyone supposed to relax like that? Ugh. It's murder on all sides, Ophelia. It's murder soup, served ice cold. Even on the open sea, everyone's trying to have everyone else killed. I felt you ought to know, in the interest of protecting yourself. Thank you. Rosie and I will keep a lookout. Lady Gunster now believes there will be a mutiny against Grace. Do I have to tell Rosencrantz? Lady Rosencrantz? What? That couldn't be so. Hmm. Although, given Hamlet's mood swings as of late, I suppose it wouldn't be surprising. How can you know this? <sighs> he told me himself. He asked that I be ready to escape with him. I see. Evidently, he really has forgotten us. Thank you for informing us. We'll keep a close watch. Hmm. I think I should inform Grace about the mutiny. Maybe if I do that, They'll just, like, throw Hamlet overboard, and then the three of us will get out just fine. I don't know, what can I- actually, can I talk to you at all? You're upset. Yeah, he's upset. Can't talk. Yeah! Alright, let's do it. Captain? Prince Hamlet has a plan to retaliate against you violently. I'd be willing to share details. Well, well. Does he now? Do tell. I see. Fascinating. Thank you much, lady. I've much respect for those whose hearts I can trust. I won't forget this. Hope that manages to save the ladies, then. I guess now I just wait? There's nothing else I can do, right? No. <laughs> oh boy, Hamlet. Well, well. Time for the masks to come off. Well played, everyone. What? Mm. Ophelia told all of us about your plans. Huh. Women talk, you know. How could you? Why? 
Why would you tell them? After they lied to me, nearly costing me my life. What? What do you mean, Hamlet? Hmm. That letter, the one my uncle gave you. Inside, I found a warrant for my own death. Orders for me to be executed upon arrival in England. You traitors. I trusted you both. What? Hamlet? We didn't know about the contents of the letter. I swear to you, Hamlet. If we thought we were delivering something like that... Certainly there are far less convoluted ways to murder someone. Who? My thoughts exactly. Like pushing Hamlet overboard and making it look like an accident. Or staging an attack on the ship. Or poisoning his dinner. <laughs> what about strangling him in his sleep? Are you idiots done? <gasps> oh, I suppose. Just sort of lost in thought there. Where were we? Despite promising Ophelia I wouldn't hurt you lot, I find myself reconsidering. Hmm. Maybe I'll just take a couple hands off. Grace. Please don't. <laughs> what? Still aching for his sword? You can't harm him. He's important to me and to this country. Hmm. Not even a little slice? What about a thumb? Surely he can get by with just one thumb up his ass. Not even a thumb. Hmm. I resent that statement. I didn't ask your royal pain. Listen. It appears my three companions have their own stones to cast at one another. Uh, yes, what she said. Yes. We apologize so very humbly for this inconvenient disturbance, your pirate ladyship. Please. Additionally, please don't kill us. You're lucky to owe your life to this woman, Prince. She's at least got a drop of integrity. The rest of you, not so much. Now then. I'll return you all to Denmark. Mercy is a gift I don't often grant. You're all fortunate today. Mercy means returning to Elsinore? Certainly doesn't feel that way. Back we go, then. Ophelia. A word with you, if I may. What just happened? It could have been far bloodier. But thanks to you, it wasn't. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that unnecessary death always comes to bite me eventually. You may have saved me from all-out war with your country. My pleasure. Consider it all in a day's work. You've had my back in this life like that. And the ones that have are on this ship with me. When I find them, I like to treat them well and never let them go. I believe you're such a woman. Are you... Is this... An invitation to join your crew? Aye. But you'd never be able to return to Elsinore. The life you had, that'll be gone. You'll need to change your name, your hair, your clothes. Now then. Do you want to join us? I'm going to say yes, but I've just been thinking over a concern that I have, which is if I say yes, I might be extending, sort of extending Ophelia's misery by years. Because if I'd said yes to to join um, Othello and go with them. Quinn said I would be with them for a few years before things went horrible. So it would add, like that could have added years, so this could add years. And that sounds kind of horrible? Like the things that we could do and the things that we could see sound great, but I'm just worried, you know? I don't know. Ophelia's already been through so much, but I just worry that if they spend y literally years looping through this, that they're just going to... I don't know. They'd be like a 40-year-old mind and a 20-year-old's body or something. <laughs> it, it's bad. But, 
On the other hand, we knew, well, at least Quince told us, that being with Othello would end in misery, eventually, although it would be nice before then. But Grace's crew, I don't know, maybe it's all good. Maybe there's no misery there at all. Plus, even if we get out of the loop, we might still be stuck at Elsinore, kind of? Or at least we certainly, for the rest of Ophelia's life, they may never be able to see all the things that they could see if they joined Grace's crew. So I think it might be really valuable to Ophelia to have this experience. And that's why I'm going to ultimately say yes. Consider me your newest recruit. <laughs> Excellent. Then, crewmate, Ophelia, your first order of business is to get rid of that lavender dress. Burn it if you have to. Are we going to get to see Ophelia in a different dress? Or not a dress at all, different clothes? We've never seen him in anything other than this lavender dress, which is very pretty, by the way. Gladly, Captain Grace. Okay, what now? <laughs> Do we just wait? I can't talk with Hamlet, they're upset. I don't think I have anything particular to talk to the ladies about, no. On your way now. Ah, okay. We've arrived. This ship and all her wares are mine now. On your way now. Hamlet, Lady Rosencrantz, and Lady Gillenstern no longer believe that Hamlet has gone to England. Okay. Oh. I wanted to look at my journal. So the others have gone, and I remain. Murphy! Set our bow towards Ireland. We're heading to Castle Rock Fleet for supplies and ships. Onward! And after that, the wide and wind-tossed summer sea. Ophelia, meet the crew. Crew, meet Ophelia. She's divested herself of her genteel trappings, much like yours truly. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh. So we don't even get to have any adventures with the crew. We're getting pulled back right now, aren't we? <gasps> you alright, lass? Looking a bit pale there. I can return here if I need to. I could use the Book of Fates to choose this world forever. Yeah, so we kind of have the stub here. We know how to get to this point, but we can't experience it right now unless we choose it as our ultimate fate. Okay. So we've unlocked the pre sacrifice predictability for adventure ending if we want. I have begun to yearn for the sea. Grace may be volatile, but her heart is true. With her at the helm, who knows where we might go. Surely that is the end of what? the ship lead. Anything new here? Nope. No timeline. Journal. Yeah, that's the end of that one. I've agreed to join Grace's crew. I wonder what it would be like if this was my final fate. To become part of her world of debauchery and action and see where that path might lead. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to continue to try to kick Quince's ass and discover more endings. <laughs>